Hey, what's up all of you beautiful subscribers? Welcome back to the Jack Chapel Show. So you want to get paid more money, don't we all? These are some of the things you can do to hopefully get paid more or earn more money. Let's just jump right into this here. Let's start off with number one. Number one, for whatever reason people are scared of or there's some stigma around it for some reason, but it's, uh, it's something, it's really easy to do and let's just ask. Ask for a raise. If you're an employee, ask for a raise from your boss. It's really, now people get scared of this because oh, maybe the boss is gonna think I'm a dick or, or whatever, maybe I'm gonna get fired or lose my job because the boss doesn't like me for saying this. But here's the thing, if you are a decent employee, or if, you're in ter if you're a terrible employee, there's no way you should be asking for a raise. But if you're a decent employee, you've been working at the company for a year or two, your boss is understanding. Your boss does not want turnover. Your boss doesn't like hiring more people. If you've been doing a good job at your, at, at your job for a year or two, maybe more, and you want a raise and they haven't given you a raise, go up and ask. Go up and ask. Your boss will expect this. Your boss will not think you're a dick well, most of the time. Sometimes they will. <laughs> Some bosses are actually dicks. Um, but yeah, your boss will expect this. Go up and you want to ask for, now don't, don't ask for an extravagant one too, unless you deserve it, right? Don't ask for a raise that's 30%. If you haven't been doing, you know, a, a really super amazing work that's really benefited the company. Um, but go up and usually asking for a three, four, 5% raise, that's okay. Sometimes even a little bit more than that. Ask for a raise. Your boss might, now here's what you want to do. If you want to go up and ask for a raise, make sure you have key points as to why you deserve it. Right? Say, hey, I haven't come in to, I've come in to work every day. I've worked this real, I've worked really hard. Haven't made any mistakes. This, 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 this is why I deserve it. You don't go in saying, you don't go in just saying, asking for a raise and then having no follow up just because you, des you think you deserve it. Go in and actually have key points and convince your boss. It's a sales pitch in a sense. But asking is one of the key things you can do for whatever reason a lot of people are scared of. Okay, number two, switch. What does that mean? Statistically speaking, people who switch and change jobs get paid substantially more money versus people who just stay at the company for their entire lifetimes. Now, there are kind of a few reasons behind this, but for the most part, it's kind of, I think for the, it's kind of like using leverage, I would guess. Uh, so for example, like if you're getting paid $50,000 at this tech company, but there's a new startup tech company that really needs someone at your position, Go up and, and just switch. Maybe they're willing to pay you, take you away from your company for sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. All right. Um, there's a bunch of different reasons for that, but usually, for whatever reason, you can look this up. Switching jobs makes you get paid more money. And I think that a lot of that is because if you stay at the same company for too long, people are afraid to ask for a raise for what they actually deserve. People will end up doing more work, have more responsibility at their company, but not ask for a raise. Maybe that's part of the reason too. So switching jobs and just putting out resumes everywhere and just always having your options open and whether you want to change jobs or not, but at least having the options open, maybe to use it as leverage towards your own company for a raise. Um, but yeah, just keeping your options open, right? Keeping your options open, uh, switching jobs, having your resume out there. That's one of the big things you can do to uh, earn more money. All right, number three, this is a big one. This is one that bosses love. This is one that, um, well, personally, I really try hard to do, and which is why I've been pretty successful so far uh, in my life, is that develop more skills. Sorry, I messed up there. I <laughs> had to erase the letter. Develop more skills. Always be learning. And uh, so, for example, you are in a marketing department, and you make $60,000 a year, $70,000 a year, which is pretty good. Oh, marketing, let's say $60,000 a year. Um, and you want to get paid more but you're, maybe you ask for a raise and your, your boss says, okay, we can pay you an extra little bit, but here's what you can do if you wanna get paid more money. Uh, we can pay you an extra thousand dollars maybe as a raise and you could do your current job or you can do your current job and we will give you a commission for every sale you make. Learning how to sell, develop more skills. So for that person, maybe they, they make some sales and they can earn up to an extra 10, 20, $30,000 a year if they learn how to actually sell their product on top of, the, on top of marketing. And it also just makes you more valuable as, as, a, as a hiring prospect. So for example, if you were to go to my LinkedIn page, I think I have one, uh, you know, my skills on there, you look at my path in life, I've had everything from, like I was supposed to be in the medical field. Um, I was supposed to go on and be a doctor. So I have, uh, I have a kind of a, 
medical health sciences background. And you know, I've been in real estate, I've done computer programming, I've done technician work, I've been, you know, done real estate, I've done, I've done, so, I've done pretty much a broad spectrum of everything. So on, on my list, I have like 30 different skills that I could do, right? So when I go to a company, um, I could, th I mean, I'm hopefully it can work for myself forever. I mean, that'd be ideal. But theoretically, if I wanted to go get a job somewhere, I would go to an employer, um, get interviewed for a high position, let's say an executive, not, not executive, but like some, some higher up position at a tech company. And I tell them, yeah, I'm pretty good at, at let's say it's a sales position. Maybe, head, maybe some head of sales or, or head of marketing, right? Say, hey, I've been the head of, a mar I've been marketing this and I've, I've grown these businesses on the side and I've worked here, been in the marketing department. Oh, by the way, I can also handle some of your tech work and I know how all that works. So I know the products, you're, I know the coding, I know how to code, I know how to, sell all your stuff really well. I've done sales in my lifetime. So I'm not just a, a mark. I could be the head of marketing, but I also have all of these other skills. So if you need me to change positions, I would be okay with that. That is very attractive to, um, to a business owner, to an employer, having a lot of skills. So that is one, you know, want to improve your, actually, we're going to move on to the next one here. I was just about to spoil it. Um, provide more value. So this actually goes into number three here. Provide more value. So this could be in, you know, even in, if you were a business owner, even if you were a business owner, provide more value to your customer or provide more value, value to your boss. So you want to get paid more by your boss? Let's say, so for example, you know, when you're an employee, people don't realize this. In order for a business to be successful, you get paid less than you produce because you get security. So if you're getting paid $50,000 a year, usually just based on averages uh, of all the employees in the company, if you're making $50,000 a year, your employer will make at least $50,000 or more based on your productivity. That's usually how it works. Sometimes they'll make $60,000 from your from productivity. Sometimes it'll be $100,000. Sometimes it'll be $51,000. Whatever that number is, um, uh, you, you, you're, you're producing more than you're getting paid, right? And so uh, what you can do to help get paid more is produce more. A lot of the times, if you're producing $100,000, uh, the boss will be more than happy to give you a raise to, you know, from fifty dollars to $70,000 or more. Uh, so produce more value. If you're only producing $51,000 worth of value and you're getting paid $50,000, you're probably not going to get a raise. But if you're producing 55, now whatever that value is, if you're, if you're um, in different positions, it's tough, right? So, I mean, sales is probably the easiest one. If, now, salespeople usually are getting paid on commission, so it's a little bit different. But whatever you're working at for your company, whatever, whatever business you're running, provide more value, then you can get paid more. It's very simple. Make your product better. Make your service better. Make whatever it is you're doing better. Provide more value to whoever you're working for, whether it's a customer or a boss. Number five, over time. This is just simple. Uh, you know, you want to get paid more. Um, this is two things here. Obviously, over time, you get paid a 1.5 multiple in the United States. So you want to get paid more work over time. A lot of people don't want to do it. Um, it's only for eligible people too, but it also, I mean, that's the main thing I want to talk about, but also if you're working overtime and it's kind of by choice, um, sometimes your boss will like it. Sometimes they won't because they don't want to pay more money. Uh, but if you're working overtime to a lot of bosses, it's like, Hey, this person's really dedicated to the company. They really want to work hard to get things done. Um, so working overtime is, is again, it's, but it's also a struggle for you physically and mentally to work. A lot of people for whatever reason can only work eight hours a day. I'm not like that. I can, pretty much go like from time I wake up to the time I fall asleep. I can just do one job and just work all day with only a few bathroom breaks and eating some food. But some people eight hours a day, like Amazon warehouse workers, eight hours on your feet all day. That sucks. I wouldn't want to walk, want to work overtime when you're walking 10 plus miles a day, when you're walking a, a, a you know, how much half marathon is 21 kilometers, right? So um, that'd be about 10 miles is what, 14, 14 kilometers, somewhere around there. So walking 14 K a day, like I wouldn't want to do any more overtime. I wouldn't want to walk an extra six, seven kilometers and walk a half marathon in a day. So, um, it's not for everyone, but, oh, whoops, almost tripped. Uh, work, <laughs> working overtime can be something you can do. Most people, uh, already have thought about that though. So 
Actually, you know what? We might skip number six here because I kind of overlapped it. We're going to skip number six here, but it was a make a better product. Make a better product. So I, I guess I jumped into that after uh, the, during the provide more value one. There was a lot of a, uh, a lot of overlap there. So we're just going to jump into number seven here. Number seven, <laughs> number seven is, well, <laughs> start a side business. Sorry, I messed up the spelling there. Start a side business. 47% of millionaires are, are business owners. Four no, of millionaires, right? 47% of billionaires are business owners. 47%. Uh, so statistically speaking, uh, and think about this, 47% of, of millionaires are business owners, but I think it's only, it's only 7% of the population actually owns a business. So if you were to actually start a side business, you are much more likely, if it is successful, you're much more likely to become a millionaire and get paid more money. Um, but again, this is not relating, to, not relating to what we were talking about kind of before. Because so I was talking about how you can earn more money pretty much at your own job or at your current business. But uh, starting a side business, that can be very lucrative. If you wanna get paid more money, maybe you just say screw it. You say screw it to your boss uh, and I'll just start a side thing. I'll do my own thing on the side and I don't, usually your bosses do not like this if you start a side business. Some don't care, a lot of new ones, especially tech ones don't really care that much, a lot of them promote it. But some of the old school bosses are like, whoa, you don't care about this company? You're not putting in your full effort into, uh, into our company? Uh, you care more about your side business than us? Uh, we don't like that, we're not gonna give you a raise. I don't know what kind of accent that was, that was really weird. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna wrap this video up. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Remember if you, uh, to subscribe and hit the like button if you wanna see more videos like this. Uh, and check out joysk.com if you want to uh, get some low prices on some stuff like video games, electronics. Um, I'm gonna be filling out the site more hopefully in the next few days. And hopefully you guys have liked my business vlogs, two of me actually starting a t-shirt business from scratch. I'm gonna be starting more businesses in the coming weeks. I'm also gonna uh, finish this up, finish this t-shirt one up, uh, up until the point where I get my first sale. I haven't done any marketing or anything yet. I've just been so busy. So anyways, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. You're all very beautiful people. I'll see you guys in the next video.